Hi, Jamie. The last time I saw you, we were both here at the Valley View campgrounds, and setup was well underway still. Gates have opened since then. People are here, and the first act of 14 of the next three days is about to take the stage. Gage Joseph of Shadyside is about to come on stage, but before we get to him, we have a lot to get to, including one of the acts tonight. Coming up at 8 o'clock, Walker Montgomery takes the root stage. I had the pleasure of catching up with him this afternoon, and he tells me about what a pleasure it is to perform at country music festivals like Blame My Roots so hard to describe it just being on stage in general but especially when we do shows like this and 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 you can like you said you can see the faces and you can see the entire crowd it's it's almost indescribable especially when you're up there it uh it's a uh, it's all it's the best drug anybody could ever have now, I'm going to enjoy some of what Gage Joseph has to offer, but coming up at 5.30, I'll have more from my interview with Walker Montgomery. But for now, reporting live from Blame My Roots, I'm Ed DiOrio. And some of you guys are sipping something strong. That doesn't come till tomorrow. But if you enjoy Priscilla Block, let me hear you. That's right. We still got two more acts tonight, and I am pleased to be joined now by my man Zeke from the Convenient Food Mart. Zeke, what's it like? to have convenient food mart here and be a part of Blame My Roots. Well, we're just trying to keep the country legend alive in the Bahia Valley. Uh, Tim Reed's over and uh, we gotta move on and this is even better, so let's just keep it going. Now the summer is far from over. If you're going on a vacation or you're having a cookout in the summer, you gotta head to convenient food mart, right? Yeah, amen. We got 28 locations throughout the Ohio Valley. We have an app, a website, anywhere near you, we have a convenient food mart looking for you. Well, it seems like Zeke and the rest of his friends here are having a great time. I'm having a great time. The last question is, blame my roots. Are you having a good time? If you're ready for Randy Hauser, let me hear you. If you're ready for Chase Rice, let me hear you. Those are the two coming up. Now, that food is going to have to be enjoyed by plenty of people, and these campgrounds are going to be filled with over 12,000 people each day, respectively, give or take. M Morristown is going to be taken over by people, not just from within Belmont County, but from 15 different states. Local businesses started seeing people coming in early this week, but the bookings have been happening for months. While a lot of people will camp here at the fairgrounds, a lot of hotels in the surrounding area are completely booked. And of course, that means folks buying food at local restaurants, getting gas in the area, and spending plenty of money right here in Belmont County. Every year it gets a little bit bigger, a little bit better, and that's exactly, you got to go slow to go fast, and I think that's what they're doing. I also have been talking to some of the hotels, and they've seen an um, increase in heads and beds, and that's exactly what we need. We need those heads and beds. Not only are these welcome increases in the economy just in general, but especially a few years removed from the pandemic. But how about this? Gage isn't the only Belmont County boy to be performing at Blame My Roots this year. Luke Burkhart, this is his second appearance, and he grew up just down the road in St. Clairsville. Jamie Baker was able to talk to him about the experience last year and what he expects this year. In what was the most anticipated day by many for Blame My Roots 2022, a lineup that included the likes of Dirk Bentley and Ashley McBride rocked the house. Blame my Local product Lucas Burkhart, the James Barker Band, David Lee Murphy, Ashley McBride, and of course, Dirks Bentley tore the house down. On the Blame My Roots 2022 Country Music Festival's final day for Murphy, he's performed with the likes of McBride and Bentley before, and he was looking forward to the opportunity to do it again. I love Ashley and Dirks. We've done, I've done shows with both of them over the years. I played Dirks Festival summer before last out in Colorado and uh, I've done shows with Ashley over the years and uh, they're both super talented artists. Murphy looked forward to coming back to Ohio as in his words says the state has some of the best country music fans. Man I love playing in Ohio. Uh, we played here for so many years. We probably played every county fair in the state. And there's so many country music fans and country music lovers in the state of Ohio. And just 
um, the surrounding area. Murphy looked forward to the opportunity to performing at a country music festival like Blame My Roots, as opposed to the, being in a stadium or an arena. He looks forward to the more family friendly atmosphere. It's laid back and there's there's people here camping and it's a family environment. Overall, organizers of the Country Music Festival said that this year's was just another step in the right direction of growth. Reporting in Belmont County, I'm at Diorio for News 9.